Example number one, we're asked to use the fundamental theorem of calculus to compute the following integral. So this is called a definite integral, where our bounds are 0 to 1, x dx. Okay, so we need to compute this. Now, what does it actually look like? Well, it looks like this. What we've got, we've already worked on this, this type of problem. There we go. We've got a function. This is f of x is equal to x from 0 to 1 we want to find the area underneath that's what this means right here well this is equal to the antiderivative at 1 minus the antiderivative at 0 so we need to find we have a function f which equals x we need to find a function which is its derivative, excuse me, which, which when taking the derivative gives us this original guy right here. So we need x to the square, or x squared, x to the second power over 2. Therefore, f prime of x is equal to small f of x. So if we just use x squared over 2 and we evaluate it from 0 to 1, we get 1 squared over 2 minus 0 squared over 2. Basically we're taking f this thing right here and using it here and using it here. So we get these guys right here which is 1 half minus 0 or 1 half. That's our area underneath the curve.